And in this video we're looking at Google My Maps and that's located within Google Drive. If you go New and then down to More and then choose Google My Maps. It allows you to create a map and then share it just as you would share a Google Drive document. So we can zoom in in a particular location. So let's go for London. And then you could choose a location within London. We could zoom in a bit closer. So we can use the standard Google Maps features that you're used to. So we can zoom in a bit closer. And then just use the hand to maneuver yourself around. And then all you can, we've got a number of options we can do. We can select items using the hand. I like to add markers so you can plan a trip. So you can take your marker and you can point to different places you may be going to visit. So it could be going to visit Westminster Abbey. Could be you're also going to Big Ben. So again, you can add a marker in there for that. And you could also add an image to that. So it could be an image that you've got, or you could do a Google search. So I could see that students using this as a way of showing that they'd been to a place, they could do a map and then they could add the images that they took mapping against the map. So we've added a picture there and then where else can we visit in London? So we could decide that we're going to go off and see the London Eye. So again, we can choose a marker and click the London Eye. And then having done that, we can add another image of the London Eye. And select. So it could be a great way to show people around maybe a foreign town, a foreign city that they're going to visit. So that's some of the features you can do. Other things you can do with it is you can plan a journey so you can add a route as a walking route or a cycling route or a driving route so we're going to walk at a walking route so we're going to walk from Big Ben we're going to make our way to the London Eye and then you can see it's got a starting time and distance and it's got our route there so we've got that on our map as well and we can, each layer we can label. So I'm going to rename this layer. And save that. The other thing you can do is you can actually measure. So we click on the ruler. We can say, well, actually, how far is it from Westminster Station? to the shop at Houses of Parliament and you can add distance there or we could go over to and it tells you in meters how far a particular thing is so give students an idea of scale and then when you're happy and you've added a variety of features you can then title the map Add a description. And just like you would normally, you can share it either by adding a user or changing it to anyone with a link can view. A really easy way to help students get 
better sense of orientation as to where they're going on a particular trip. So you can see each time I went to a new icon, whether it was adding a marker or adding directions or drawing a line, it added a new layer so I could build up my map to cover all of the different days of my, my field trip that I'm doing with my students. So if you found that video useful, if you liked it, please remember to share it and subscribe to the channel and join me 